now today in 11th standard as we have completed our part 1 okay now we will be starting our part 2 that is elements of accounts okay now in part 2 the first lesson that is rectification of errors okay in this we are going to study point number 1 point number 2 point number 3 point number 4 whereas point number 5 is omitted and illustration 5 and 6 is also omitted fine so now see in lesson number 1 that is rectification of errors okay so First of all, what is to be done in this particular chapter? Rectification of errors means if any mistake while doing the journal entry you have committed, how to rectify that mistake? Okay, now first of all, see, suppose you have written an entry wrong, that is cash account debited to sales account. Okay, but suppose it is not a cash sales, but it is a credit sale. So, this is wrong. This is wrong. It means you are not supposed to cancel it and write down your party's name. Okay. What you have to do? You have to do the entry that is rectification entry. And what rectification entry you will do? So, here this is in debit. So, you will credit it. Okay. So, opposite effect is to be given when some rectification of errors take place. Okay. So, the first important thing you will keep in mind that if any mistake takes place on debit side then that mistake will go to credit side to cancel that entry okay so directly you cannot cancel any of the entries you have to cancel that entry that is by taking it to the opposite side okay i hope the concept is clear okay we will see that all everything in the sums practical sums first we will be starting with the introduction see what they have given in the introduction okay the information regarding arithmetical errors in preparing a journal, posting in ledger and extracting balances of account can be obtained by preparing a trial balance. If debit side and credit side of trial balance tallies, it is believed that there is no arithmetical error in recording the transaction and posting and extracting balances of the account. Okay, so this is you have learned in trial balance that whenever there is, that is the balances of your trial balance is tallied, it means there is no errors being committed in that. Okay, but if the trial balance does not tally, there must be some error in writing the books of account and the errors are detected and rectified. In fact, trial balance is not a final yardstick of accounting error fine that is if there is some mistake in trial balance it does not mean that is that is the final stage okay that is there for the committing the errors even if the trial balance tallies it is quite possible see sometimes errors are there okay but then too with that errors also the trial balance is tallied so it is that's why they are telling that it is not the final yardstick it does not mean that trial balance is tallied it means there is no mistake Sometimes there are compensatory errors that is the error for example debit side there is mistake of 500 then credit side also there will be a mistake of 500 okay so both the side there is a mistake of 500 500 rupees that's why that is the trial balance got tallied okay so there are some types of compensatory error these errors are known as compensatory errors which is showing the mistake on both the side with the same amount by chance okay so even in that cases that is even if the trial balance tallies it is quite possible that errors may be may have been committed while preparing the accounts thus the errors affecting trial balance and errors not affecting trial balance must be detected and rectified the accounts will reveal the true picture of business only when these errors are rectified when such kind of errors are rectified at that time only you get the exact idea the accounts Further, this process is inevitable. Okay, the process of detecting error in accounts and rectifying them is called rectification of error. Okay, underline what do you mean by rectification of error? So the process, sorry, the process of detecting errors in accounts and rectifying them is called rectification of error. Following are the objectives of rectification of error. We'll see the objectives. See the first objective when the error is detected in accounts before preparing a trial balance it is to be rectified okay so before preparing trial balance if there is some error then we will rectify that error when the error is detected after preparing a trial balance of respective accounting year it is to be rectified so there is before preparing trial balance and there is after preparing trial balance so if the mistake is taking place before pre preparing the trial balance then also you have to rectify it after preparing trial balance also again if there is any mistake then also you have to rectify that mistake so that mistakes are rectified okay with the help of rectification of error 
to determine true profit or loss from correct accounting method by rectifying the error okay so you get the true profit and loss okay from correct accounting records by rectifying the error so you are rectifying the errors and because of that you are getting the exact idea exact true and fair profit and loss to show the true position that is financial position by preparing a balance sheet at the end of the year so your true profit and loss and true financial uh, financial position you come to know with the help of uh, that is uh, rectification of error if any mistakes have been committed then as per the accounting rules if there is an error in accounts recorded in accounts so see in this as per the accounting rules if there is an error in amounts recorded in accounts it cannot be rectified by deleting the same to rectify the error an accounting effect is given uh, is given related to respective error rectification of error has a virtual importance in accounting system okay so if any error is there in amounts it cannot be rectified by deleting the same you cannot omit it okay you cannot delete it you have to take that to the opposite side and then you have to rectify the error okay now see types of accounting error accounting errors are classified into two parts based on whether they affect the trial balance or not first error which do not have do not affect the trial balance and second error which affect the trial balance okay so see these are the errors which affect do not affect the trial balance and these are the errors which affect the trial balance first is error of omission second error of principal third error of recording to a wrong account fourth error committed at the time of recording in primary books fifth compensatory error year which affect the trial balance so error regarding posting error regarding balance of an amount error in totaling the subsidiary books error committed at the time of preparing the trial balance fine this we will see in deep okay turn the uh, see in the, on the next page it is given your first we are discussing now our first method okay this first method that is error which do not affect the trial balance okay so we are going to see all that types of errors see your error do not affect the trial balance a trial balance is prepared to know whether the accounts are arithmetically correct or not but it cannot be said that accounts are perfectly correct only because the trial balance tallies at the time some accounting error exists even if the trial balance tallies okay your trial balance is tallied but then too there are some errors such errors are known as errors not affecting the trial balance is this clear what do you mean by this so there are some errors which exist even if the trial balance tallies okay your trial balance is tallied from both the side but then too there is a mistake so such errors are known as errors not affecting the trial balance fine such errors cannot be detected easily they can be known by comparing the records of receipts from the customers and payment by the traders okay so you have to compare your receipts and payment in short you have to see how much cash is coming in the business and how much cash is going outside the business by vouchers of purchase and sales of asset by correspondence with bank by preparing bank reconciliation statement and by exchange of copies of accounts or at the time of auditing the accounts okay so either when you are preparing brs or you are exchanging the copies of accounts or during the audit time this type of errors comes outside to rectify these errors whether detected before or after preparing a trial balance or before or after preparing final account a rectification entry must be passed in the journal okay now we are going to study our first type of error that is error of omission see omission means omitted okay what do you mean by omission omission means omitted it means you have forgotten to give the entry itself okay that entry only you have not given as journal entry is not given there will be no subsidiary book there is no subsidiary book journal entry is not there so there is no ledger posting there is no ledger posting it means there is no effect in trial balance okay so this entry only you have forgotten okay so that's why this is an error which will not affect the trial balance clear see now what they have said when a transaction is totally omitted to be recorded in the journal or subsidiary book or the ledger such an error is known as error of omission the trial balance will tally even though error of omission is committed because posting is omitted or both credit or debit and debit side error of omission takes place on two stages first see a transaction is totally omitted to be recorded in the journal or subsidiary book or the ledger see totally omitted we have just forgotten 
to record this entry so cash sales of 2000 is left unrecorded see it is not recorded so what you'll do simply you'll pass the entry that is cash account debited to sales account fine second case what they have given a transaction is totally recorded in the journal or ledger subsidiary book or ledger but posting of both the accounts are omitted you have recorded you have given the entry in the journal but you have not given the posting of that particular journal entry that is forgotten okay so these are the two cases in case of error of omission fine here they have given the example furniture purchased on credit from raj furniture mart 5000 is recorded in journal but it is forgotten to be posted in the account of furniture and raj furniture mart to rectify this error there is no need to record journal entry see journal entry is not to be given but the error will be rectified by debiting furniture account and crediting raj furniture account in the ledger book so in the ledger book you have to give the effect of this posting of this journal entry next is error of principle see what do you mean by principle that is you have studied the rules three rules okay nominal account personal account and real account okay so these are the three rules real account rule personal account rule and nominal account rule okay so in this rule you might have some uh, you might have made some mistake see what is real account rule debit what comes in credit what goes out personal account debit the receiver credit the giver nominal account debit all expenses and losses credit all income and gains so in this rules you have made some mistake that is known as error of principle clear when an error arises because of non-compliance of accounting principles that is these rules it is known as error of principles these type of errors do not affect the trial balance because the amount of the transaction is same but instead of one account any other account is debited or credited fine see what they have given 20,000 worth machinery purchase is debited to purchase account okay so your principle what is the principle here see when you are purchasing some asset okay you have to write down the name of that asset clear so this is again one kind of a rule or principle clear so instead of that machinery account what you have done by mistake you have done by mistake that is purchase account same way 600 commission received from rahim is credited to rahim account see now amount received from rahim rahim is what received from rahim so rahim is giver what do you have studied in personal account rule that is debit the receiver and credit the giver okay so your commission is received but in this rule what you have learned he is giver but what he is giving he is giving you the commission so how the entry will take place that is cash account debited to commission account so according to this rule here rahim is giver but what he is giving for what purpose he is giving he is giving the income so according to nominal account rule what is the rule that is when you are getting debit the receiver credit uh, sorry nominal account debit all expenses and losses credit all income and gains so see according to this rule the income and gains are to be credited so here that income and gain is not credited but it is it is not recorded only okay so here in place of rahim account which account will be credited commission account will be credited so that is a mistake okay so this is known as see here they have given shown okay machinery purchase which is the correct entry this is your correct entry machinery account debited to cash account this is your error committed it means this is your wrong entry fine what is your wrong entry purchase account debited to cash see this is wrong okay so what you have to do this is the rule undo what is wrong do what is correct okay please remember this rule okay undo what is wrong and do what is correct see this i have to undo so it will go to opposite side so this is your rectification entry to purchase account see right now this mistake is on debit side it will go to credit side undo what is wrong this i have done now what i have to do do what is correct so this is correct so machinery account debited okay so like this on the basis of this rule undo what is wrong do what is correct you will give the rectification entry clear same way see here correct entry cash account debited to commission i showed you here that is cash account debited to commission what mistake they have done cash account debited to rahim see this is wrong so undo it it will go to debit side 
now what is correct this is correct so do it so here it will come to commission account so this is your rectification entry okay so like this only you have to pass on the entries okay rectification entries third c error of debiting or crediting wrong account see wrong account you have debited or credited okay so in such type of error instead of debiting or crediting correct account the other account is debited or uh, credited thus by debiting or crediting a wrong account with correct amount on the correct side of the trial balance remains unaffected so now what you will do see here they have given example 100 received from eva is credited to ria by mistake okay amount is received from eva by mistake writing eva's name i have written ria's name so see what is the correct entry cash is received from eva so cash account debited to eva's account by mistake in place of eva what mistake i have done i have written ria so this is my wrong entry okay so this is wrong it is to be undo so it will go debit side this is correct this i have to do so this will come here on credit side as it is fine so this is your entry for rectification next error of commission see what do you mean by error of commission while writing the books of accounts if the transaction in primary books are recorded either more or less than the correct amount or it is recorded in wrong subsidiary book such an error is known as error of commission see you that is you have not entered the correct amount or you have entered in wrong subsidiary book so then it is known as error of commission see what they have given example goods of 500 sold sold to shahid is recorded by mistake as 50 rupees see amount is 500 but entry is for 50 rupees your bank charges 70 is recorded by mistake as 700 okay so the amount is wrong such kind of errors are error of omission commission next see how it will be rectified see correct entry is shahid account debited to sales account wrong entry is that is shahid account debited to sales account see now what is wrong that is the amount is wrong see entry is correct shahid account sales account shahid account sales account entry is correct only amount is wrong so what you will do you will just do 500 minus 50 how much is still remaining that is 450 is still remaining to be done so entry will be same shahid account debited to sales account 450 450 here see this is correct but by mistake you have given 700 see here this is more okay 70 was the amount and you have written wrongly 700 okay so 700 minus 70 the amount will be 630 but see this is wrong okay that is more amount is given so what you will do you will just do the opposite effect of this see here correct was 500 wrong is 50 it means i have to still take 450 okay so correct entry is given here by mistake you have written more amount but it is less so what you will give you will give the opposite effect so see your bank charges two bank is there so here what will be their bank account debited to bank charges Oppo opposite effect you will give okay 630 630 clear then in this also there is another one okay this was for the amount now transaction recorded in wrong subsidiary book so see goods of 800 sold to pile is recorded by mistake in purchase book so see here correct entry is pile to sales by mistake what i have done purchase to pile so how the entry will be done see this is wrong okay here this is correct entry pile to sales by mistake i have written purchase account debited to pile so see this is also wrong and this is also wrong okay so what i will do purchase is here on debit side so it will come to credit side pile is here on credit side so it will go to debit side okay this undo i have done this is my undo now i have to do it so pile two sales so see pile pile writing two times so what we will do we will not write two times but we will add up the amount so 800 plus 800 for pile that is 1600 and here two sales so two sales see instead of writing like this pile then again pile okay 800 800 two sales and two purchase okay see rectification purchase account is debited so here it is credited pile here it is credited so here it is debited fine now undo we have done now we have to do so pile account debited to sales account so instead of writing two times pile what we will do we will write down one time pile that is pile account debited 800 plus 800 will become 
600 okay so like this the entry will be given hope the entry is clear in your mind then see c transaction recorded in wrong subsidiary with wrong account now both together a was only for wrong amount okay see this was only for wrong amount this is wrong subsidiary book now wrong subsidiary with wrong amount so goods of 400 return from pradeep is wrongly recorded in purchase book as 4000 so see first of all it is returned from that is pradeep what we have done to pradeep we have might have sold to pradeep so it is sales return by mistake it is recorded in purchase book okay that is as 400 uh, 4000 okay so see first of all correct entry we have sold and it is returning back so sales return account debited to pradeep account 400 400 this is your correct entry this is your wrong entry purchase account debited to pradeep's account this you have done so now this you have to rectify okay so purchase is debit so it will be credited pradeep is credited so it will be debited fine now this you have to give sales return is debited okay and see this is correct okay so undo what you have wrong that you have done now this is correct so sales return account debited to pradeep account so again your to pradeep account so here you will write down to pradeep account see again i'll show you here okay here they have given in a combined form see purchase account debited to pradeep account so this is to be rectified so pradeep account debited 4000 to purchase account 4000 now this is to be done so sales return account debited 400 to pradeep account 400 now what you will do see pradeep is here 4000 and pradeep is here 400 see debit side is more so 400 minus 4000 minus 400 it will be 3600 so direct only one entry you will give pradeep account debited that is 3600 see pradeep account debited 3600 your purchase account 4000 is there and your sales return so debit side and credit side gets tallied okay so you can understand now that your pradeep why it is coming with 3600 on debit side it is 4000 on credit side it is 400 debit side is more so 400 minus sorry 4000 minus 400 you get 3600 so your 3600 pradeep account is debited clear next is compensatory error see in compensatory error means mistake is both the side okay by same amount so in the books of account when more than one error are committed but when there is their effects are recorded on both the side both debit and credit side the trial balance tallies such errors are known as compensatory errors 100 is debited instead of 1000 in to ram account 1000 is debited instead of 100 to sham account so see in ram account also there is a mistake of 900 and sham account also there is a mistake of 900 so directly here what you can do ram account debited to sham account 900 900 okay so this errors it means both the side debit side and credit side the mistake is with same amount okay so that errors are known as compensatory errors fine so see with this our first part of types of error is completed okay in explanation that is error which do not affect the trial balance now we will move on to the second type of errors that is errors which affect the trial balance fine so see error that affect the trial balance okay so such kind of errors are affecting to your trial balance okay sometimes the total of debit side and credit side of trial balance are not equal that is trial balance does not tally in such circumstances error or errors might have been committed somewhere in posting in balancing the account in writing the balances of account okay so po in posting while writing the balances of accounts might be wrong in writing the balance of account on the wrong side might be the balance you have taken on the wrong side or in the preparation of trial balance itself let us understand the types of errors affecting the trial balance and how they can be rectified if they are detected before or after preparation of the final account see first error detected before preparation of final account okay see your before detect detected and after preparation of final account the errors are coming so first we are going to see error detected before preparation of final 
account and that first is error of posting see error of posting in any account this is also type of omission okay but here the posting entry is forgotten and there we have studied in a that is error of omission there was journal entry only we have forgotten okay so goods of 7000 sold to meetesh is correctly recorded in sales book but the posting in meetesh account is omitted that is in meetesh account we have forgotten okay so see how the entry will take place goods of 7000 sold to meetesh journal entry is like that this meetesh account debited to sales account okay so see here meetesh account is there in this we have not given this entry that is to sales so here it will be coming to the amount of posting omitted for goods sold that is 7000 okay so here the entry is not there okay then next posting twice in the account okay two times you have posted payment of rent 3000 is recorded correctly in cash book but by mistake it is debited twice in the rent so see payment of rent you have paid rent okay so rent is an expense rent account debited this is your journal entry to cash account okay now in rent account what you will give you will give to cash okay so your to cash and to cash it is given twice 3000 3000 so see this is correct ones the second one which is you have given twice so you will take it to opposite side so here by rectification of payment of rent posted twice in rent account so here there will be 3000 clear so this effect will be given next posting of a wrong amount in an account purchase of machinery of 50000 is recorded in machinery account as 5000 so see correct entry is what that is you have purchased a machinery machinery account debited to cash account okay you have purchased a machinery 5 50000 but by chance in machinery account so see in machinery account you would have written to cash so your to rectification of okay but instead of posting your 50000 you have posted 5000 so what is remaining 50000 minus 5000 that is coming to 45000 so now here there will be entry of only 45000 clear next posting in an account on the wrong side see side is wrong paid commission 300 is credited to commission account see now paid commission 300 what will be the correct entry that is commission is paid okay so commission is an expense commission account debited to cash account now in commission account we will write down to cash okay so here it is not done okay so here we have to give the entry but what we have done we have written year so see we have written year that is by cash 300 see this is wrong so this will go here first 300 okay this is undo now you will do also because you have to give the correct entry so 300 plus 300 it will become 600 see again i am explaining commission is paid so entry is commission account debited to cash account in commission account you will be giving the entry of to cash so the correct entry will come here but by mistake what you have done you have credited it means it is coming here so first i have to undo this so this is my undo and now i will be doing it so 300 so 300 plus 300 it will become 600 clear now see the next one posting wrong amount on wrong side of an account paid rent 10000 is correctly recorded in cash book but by mistake it is recorded on credit side of rent account by 1000 so see paid rent okay you have paid the rent rent is an expense so entry will be rent account debited to cash account now what is the thing you have done but by mistake it is recorded on credit side of rent account so see this is your rent account okay the entry is like this rent account debited again i'm writing here rent account debited to cash account so see where i have to write down i have to write down year that is to cash but i have not written year i have written year okay so year i have written by cash and amount is also wrong amount is taken as 1000 but actually it was 10000 so see this is i have to undo it will come year 1000 and then i have to do this correct also so here 10000 so total the entry will be of 11000 that is this being rectification of rent paid 10000 uh, 10, is 
mis by mistake credited to rent account as 1000 so here there will be both the entries fine hope the entry is clear in your mind still if you have any doubt we will do this type of sum so it will be more clear for you because as you are seeing this for the first time then error regarding balance of an account okay second type of error in that first error in finding out the balance of an account by mistake you have find out only wrong that is the deduction might be wrong so see if the balance of any account is found either more or less the trial balance does not tell you if the calculated balance is less or de on debit side then put the deficit amount on debit side see if it is less you will go for same side if it is more you go to opposite side okay simple the debit balance of purchase account is worked out as 5000 instead of 15000 so there is a mistake of 10000 okay so here what you will do see so 10000 will come here debit balance of see debit balance it means this this should be 15,000 but it is 5,000 so how much less is there 10,000 so you'll go with the same side 10,000 fine then see error in writing the balance of an account opening balance is 1 lakh of machinery is written as 10,000 okay so opening balance machinery is an asset asset always have a debit balance okay so see here it is 1 lakh but by mistake you have written 10,000 so it is less by how much 90,000 so it is less so you will go to same side see by chance if they are saying it is more in place of 1 lakh you have written 2 lakh then you will go to opposite side okay this is less less by how much 90,000 so here only on debit side you will write down 90,000 fine balance of an account is omitted to be recorded opening balance see you forgotten to record the opening balance okay that is opening balance of 50,000 of machinery account remains unrecorded machinery is an asset asset always have a debit balance so record your 50,000 simple then balance of an account is written on the wrong side see side is wrong a balance of 800 of Bharat a dater is written on the credit side so see this is a dater a dater is an asset okay so it should be year but by mistake you have written year this is a mistake okay this is done by mistake you have written here so undo you will go here okay so 800 this is undo now you will do so again 800 so total it will be 1600 this side clear then balance of an account is written on wrong side with wrong amount wrong side is there and wrong amount is there so see what you have they have given balance of Bharat data see again data is an asset okay so here the balance will come it is written on credit side is 800 see here there should be 800 but it is written as first it went to wrong side here but it is recorded by 80 so this is by mistake they have done okay so for undoing this it will come here 80 undo now you have to give correct so do 800 so total 880 rupees entry will be taking place this side clear then see next error in telling the that is totaling the subsidiary book fine so see in this the trial balance does not tell you if an error is committed while totaling subsidiary book like purchase book sales book goods return book that is purchase return book sales return book cash book etc this error will be rectified by writing necessary note in that respective account a journal entry is not necessary to rectify this type of error okay so there is no need of journal entry to rectify such kind of error see first total of purchase book is undercast by 700 this error will be error will be rectified by writing in purchase account as 700 on debit side see undercast it means it is less so same side purchase book is there so purchase is always debit so same side that is 700 on debit side in the column of particulars being the total undercast sales book is undercast sales book always have total on credit side see undercast it means again it is less so you will go to same side that is credit side so see sales account on credit side purchase book okay is overcast see when overcast is there you will go to opposite side so purchase is debit overcast so it will be credit so see 400 on credit side that is opposite side so remember when there is overcast you have to go opposite side same way cash book on debit side of bank column total is overcast see debit side is overcast so it will go to opposite side so it will come to credit side fine 
error committed while preparing trial balance so while preparing a trial balance there remains a possibility of error like error in totaling of the trial balance balance of an account is omitted to be recorded recorded twice recorded with wrong amount recorded on wrong side it means in trial balance itself you are doing some mistake or recorded on wrong side with wrong amount to rectify this type of error no journal entry is required after rectifying the error a new trial balance is to be prepared and it will get tallied so if in trial balance only there is some mistake so what you will do you will prepare the new trial balance you won't give any rectification journal entry okay a new trial balance will be prepared fine now see next type of error is error detected after preparation of final account so whenever after preparation of final account some errors are detected for that you have to use suspense account okay so in that cases the entries are to be given with the help of a suspense account which is created see if the accounts are written correctly without any error the trial balance tallies and thereafter final accounts are prepared but when the trial balance does not tally because of some error many time it is required to detect such errors and consequently final account cannot be prepared in time in such circumstances the difference of that trial balance is transferred to suspense account because the whole final account you can't prepare at the same time so what you have to do whatever the difference of amount is coming that you will transfer to suspense account and final accounts are prepared afterwards the suspense account is closed later on okay you can close this suspense account and you can rectify the errors when errors are rectified with or without the help of suspense account as per requirement suspense account will be closed automatically when the errors are rectified okay now what do you mean by suspense account when the trial balance does not tally but there is an urgency for preparing final account temporary the difference in the trial balance is transferred to one account in order to get it tallied and that account is known as suspense account okay so in case when their trial balance is not tallied or final account is not tallied for a temporary basis when you are closing this okay normally we don't do in final account but sometimes in some final account it takes place but normally it is coming in trial balance okay so when the trial balance is not tallied okay on temporary basis the difference you are transferring if uh, the tra deb if debit side the amount is less then you will transfer the that is you will write down in debit side of trial balance suspense account same way if credit side is less then you can even write down on credit side and you can write down suspense account in trial balance see they have given if the different arises on debit side of trial balance it is treated as debit balance of suspense account and in final account now the difference is on debit balance so in final account it will be shown on asset side fine now if the difference is on credit side of trial balance okay as it is credit side so it will be treated as credit balance of suspense account and it will go to capital and liability side of the balance sheet so this you have to remember if the difference is coming on debit side then it is debit balance of suspense account it goes to asset side in balance sheet if it is a credit balance then uh, credit side you are getting the difference in trial balance so it is known as credit balance of a suspense account and it will be going to that is capital and liability side in balance sheet fine see here they have given an example balance sheet is tallied by transferring the difference of trial balance to suspense account in the beginning or during the next year the error because of which the trial balance was not tallied rectification entry will be passed with the help of suspense account for example the total of purchase book is undercast by 1000 this error will be rectified by an entry in journal entry so it is undercast undercast so purchase account will go to same side that is debit side so purchase account debit what you will write down here so here you will write down to suspense account same way if total of sales book is overcast so you will do the same thing that is suspense account debited see it is overcast okay then this error will be rectified by debiting sales account and crediting suspense account clear see what they have told here sales book is overcast sales normally goes to credit side but it is overcast so where it will go it will go to debit side so sales account debit to suspense account fine see they or they have written debiting sales account and crediting suspense account fine thus when the error is committed only on one side the correct account is debited or credited correctly and on the other account see when you don't have anything to write down what you will write down on the other side you will write down suspense account when all errors are rectified suspense account is closed automatically 
Other than rectification of errors, suspense account is also useful for various other purposes, such as when in any transaction the accounts which is to be debited or credited is not decided for time being, as we don't know which where it will go to which account it will go. So for temporary basis, you are putting the amount in the suspense account. Later on, when correct head of the account is decided after giving the effect to that account, the suspense account is closed. Okay, but in your course. where you have to tally the suspense account and you have to prepare the suspense account okay that type of sums are omitted in journal entry you will use suspense account in the sums but the sums where you have to give you have to prepare the suspense account that type of sums are omitted for you clear so here your theory portion gets over now in the next video we will starting the will start the sums which are based on rectification of errors thank you